Who is Yaya Bones? Yaya Bones is one of my living sculptures. <laughs> My favorite fact about soil is that it literally can make you happy. This is the space in between. The space in between the roots and the past life. This is the liminal blood of the earth. The blood of Pangu. This quite literally is earth blood. Is me and my friend called the tree we're actually like really old friends we're like cousins we share a lot of the same 
DNA. For some reason, we just grew in very, very different ways. The tree grew skin that was solid, but still the tree's skin sheds just like ours. And the tree, like us, needs water, needs sunlight, and it creates oxygen. And the tree, like us, needs roots, it needs to feel rooted and grounded in the earth, it needs nutrients from the soil just like us. So we're not all that different from the tree. It contains a microbe that increases serotonin in the brain. So being near soil, having soil in your hand, all of these webs. And it makes me think about this tool, this technological tool that I'm using right now to document and to connect. Who is Yaya Bones? Yaya Bones? I've become the clay. There was a tree in the forest behind my house when I was growing up and um, it also fell over, over uh, a ditch. So it created this magical bridge. And I was a teenager and every day that summer I tried to cross the bridge. And it wasn't even that high up and it wasn't even that long. I couldn't do it, I was so scared. I'd get two steps and then turn around. I couldn't cross the bridge and I didn't know why. And then one day some family friends came over. Their kids came and they were like four and seven and I took them to the bridge and they ran across. They didn't even think about it, they just ran across. And I was like, oh, oh. wait, it's not that high up. It's not that long, it's not that scary. It's just in the mind. Wow, crumbling into my hand. This is the type of clay that God sculpted humanity from. <sighs> wow. They, like us, have uh, networks that they need to survive and they talk to each other and communicate just that their timeline is just very different. We are just like uh, a glitch in their timeline. We're like a blink to them. But they, they know so much more. No.
hold the earth in my palm. This totem of magic, this tool I can use as a grounding anchor to the earth. Whenever I feel uprooted, ungrounded, I'm going to hold this piece of clay in my palm, in between my fingers, and know that even if I am blown down by the winds, by the storms, I always have more roots and I'm always surrounded by the earth to protect and hold me. Always on the forest of Always on the forest girl Always of the forest girl Your network so I speak to you, you speak to them all My message carries to you all I speak to you, you're connected to the yeah. Yeah. Fly on a tree trip, dropping into the ground, and then just oh, imagine all the tension, tightness, and any of the pain just decomposing into the wood, rotting getting transmuted and transformed into ah, nutrient-rich soil and dirt and compost. Just compost your pain. Compost your pain. All I can smell is mycelium. So imagine God, the source, the creator, whoever you see God as, this non-binary other being who is the source of life, actually put the same chemicals that Prozac has in the soil and the same properties that this big pharma drug has in it to, to kind of blanket cure everyone of depression that same thing is in the earth right here how sacred this soil is and how much we need this soil and the scary part is is that one third of the world's topsoil is being degraded and destroyed by industrial agriculture and there are 16 rare earth minerals in this thing I'm holding right now in this device in my hand there are 16 rare earth minerals and one of them is mined literally just to make your phone vibrate. We need to protect this soil and also protect the minerals and the rare earth minerals within the soil. This is the skin of the earth, this is the skin of the planet, the skin, a living skin. There's so much amazing magic in this soil and we can't destroy it and we can't let agriculture, consumer culture, electronic greed, we cannot let it destroy our living skin. Let's become soil. I invite you now to take a handful of soil from your garden or your favourite houseplant and as you lie down place some on your heart and hold some in both left and right palms close your eyes breathing deeply into the places of tension within your rocks your bones and your muscles the clay Scan your earthen body from the tips of your hair follicles to the tips of your toenails, inviting each of your tectonic plates, your organs, 
to relax and deepen into the earth. <sighs> Breathe in and exhale a sigh. And with this sigh, you exhale tension out into the earth. You are future soil. Surrender to the cycle and decompose your tension, pain, worries, letting them seep out of your body into the ground below. You are a rare earth mineral. You are precious, sacred stone. Your soul is fertile, just like soil. And your dreams can be composted and they will flourish into new life. Breathing deeply into this unconscious knowing that your body has to become soil. Once your soul departs, you are earth heart. The boundaries betwixt you and the soil are porous. Let their wisdom speak through you now. Feel the energy of the microbes, the nutrients and minerals take root through your skin into your system. We have always been like this. Some of us just forgot. Remember now, your earthen body, the clay you were sculpted from. Remember now the clay you still are and trust that you can sculpt your visions and your dreams with your body and mind. Breathing in to another sigh of gratitude for this remembrance and know that you can always return to the soil. Was that Asa or was it Yaya? I think it was a collaboration. <laughs> Who is Yaya Bones? Yaya Bones is that clay. That clay I can sculpt to create those songs. But Asa is still doing the sculpting. Yeah, I has the medium. Just like with all my other characters, they're just different types of clay different types of earth all with their own different properties their own microbes their own organisms that live within and that make them do different things make them have different lives make them have different stories every piece of earth has a story but Aisha still sculpts them and feeds them and waters them <laughs>